In 14.1, the MVC grid view extension has several new features. Let's take a look at them in our latest demos. First, we have the ability to apply filter expressions for multiple columns in a single request. In 13.2, you could apply a filter expression to a single column in a single request. Now, when filtering is applied, the filtering action method receives a grid view filtering state object that contains the filter expression and the affected columns. This functionality allows you to use a filter builder to create a filter expression for multiple columns and apply it in a single request. The next new feature is the ability to sort grid groups by their summaries. Here I can sort grid groups in descending and ascending order. The grid view extension now supports the unobtrusive client validation out of the box. This allows you to validate the user input on the client side respecting the data annotation attributes applied to the model fields. Another new feature is the ability to export master detail records. You can programmatically define which of the detail grids should be exported, none, all, or the expanded only. I'll export a master grid with the expanded condiments to a PDF file. Click Export to PDF and open the downloaded file. You'll see the master grid records and the condiment detail records have been exported to a PDF file. Now let's look at one more great feature, the context menu. It provides different sets of commands for different grid elements. When right-clicking a row, I can edit and update its records. I can right-click the group column and ungroup it. I can, for example, right-click the discontinued column and group grid records by this column. The next new feature is the built-in select all checkbox. It allows your end users to select all the records on a current grid page or on all the pages of the entire grid. Now I'll show you how to enable some of these features in an existing project. Here in Visual Studio, I have an ASP.NET MVC web application with the grid view extension. Let's take a look at it in the browser. The grid displays a list of customers. All right, let's go back to Visual Studio. First, I'll enable the sorting by group summaries. For example, I want to group grid rows by countries and to sort groups by their summary values. To do this, I add a group summary that displays the number of cities in each group. Then I populate the group summary sort info collection with a new object. This enables sorting country groups by number of cities in each group. And let's take a look at the result in the browser. I group the grid records by the country column. Here you can see that the group rows are sorted by ascending order respective to the number of cities in each group. And let's return to Visual Studio. Now I'll enable the Select All checkbox. To do this, I should set the Select All checkbox mode property to All Pages or to Page. I'll enable the selecting of rows within a single page. And again, let's take a look at the result in the browser. I can select the checkbox and all the rows within the current page are selected. I navigate to the next page and select all the rows on the second grid page. I navigate back to the first page and you can see that the grid saves the selection state while navigating its pages. Now I'll show you how to enable the unobtrusive client validation. Navigate to the customer model. Here you can see that some of the model fields are decorated with the data annotation attributes. And let's navigate to the Root Layout view. Here you can see that my project refers to the attached jQuery validation plugin. In my web.config file, I have two options, Client Validation Enabled and Unobtrusive JavaScript Enabled. Both of them are set to true. Now let's take a look at the index view. To enable the unobtrusive validation, I'll place the partial view with the grid inside the HTML form. And that's it. Let's take a look at the result in the browser. I'll monitor the network activity to demonstrate how the client validation works. 
To do this, I open the developer tools. As I navigate through the grid pages, the grid sends a callback to the server to retrieve data for the new page. When I start editing a new row, our grid loads the edit form from the server side. Let's enter some valid data. And let's look at the network activity window. I click update and the valid data is sent to the server side and you can see a post request in the log. Now let's try to enter some invalid data. I click update, but the post request was not sent. The error message appears immediately. My input was validated on the client side and invalid data prevents the grid from sending an updated record to the server. Now you can see how our GridView extension supports the ASP.NET MVC framework infrastructure. The unobtrusive client validation allows you to immediately validate the user input respective to the model attributes. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.